from the crime scene and when it gets back to the lab, how is the fingerprint analysis done? Um, so the fingerprint analysis, the examiners who examine the fingerprint uh, use a method uh, called ASV. Uh, and ASV stands for A stands for analysis, C stands for comparison, E stands for evaluation, and V stands for verification. So this method is used um, for determination for when they are doing the analysis for each print. So let me get into what what each uh, letter um, in that uh, term means. So analysis is the first step. Uh, so you have to analyze your print in question. So what they look at is they, they compare if there is a good quality print or um, when I say quality, if it's like too submerged or if it's like too distorted or if there is uh, not enough quality or quantity features for comparison. Um, then the examination just ends there. So that determination has to be made by the examiner when they're looking at the prints. If the print, uh, that that defines the print to be unsuitable for examination, if it's distorted or like not in a good quality or quantity of features. Right. Now, if the print is suitable for analysis, they indicate the features that they would be using in for comparison. Um, and the tolerances, which is the amount of variation that will be accepted. Because of course, when you compare like a, a print with a known exemplars, it's not necessary that the print that you lifted or collected from the crime scene has all the features exactly as compared to your known exemplars, because this has been lifted, has gone through some wear and tear. So to what level would you let the, the print be okay for it to proceed with comparison? So that's the tolerance that they look at. Um, mm -hmm. Then the analysis may also uncover some physical features such as recurves, deltas, creases, scars that help you indicate where to begin the comparison from. So now as I ended with comparison, the next step obviously, obviously after analysis is comparison. Um, comparison is performed by the analyst who views the known and the suspect prints side by side. So now they are literally comparing the two prints. Right. Um, the analyst compares the minutia characteristics that we spoke about earlier and the locations to determine if they match. Um, so known prints are collected from the person of interests. It's not always like a perpetrator they're compared to. Of course, you also look at victims and other uh, people present at the crime scene because it also helps in elimination process. Right. Um, and each of this search or more fingerprint, um, then they are compared against the print opt-in from the crime scene. There is also a fingerprint database uh, by the FBI. It's called the IAFIS. It stands for Integrated Automated Fingerprint Identification System. It's one mm -hmm. of the largest databases, um, which kind of holds uh, maybe more than 72 million fingerprint records from criminals, uh, military personnel, government employees, and other civilians. So it's a very extensive database uh, that um, the examiners can use for compar comparing the prints in question. Uh, the next okay. step is you have to evaluate the print that you just uh, compared. So the evaluation is ultimately the examiner deciding if the prints are from the same source, uh, identification or individual individual person that you got it from, or they are from different sources, which is an exclusion or it's an inconclusive. Um, so not always a print when compared to a known exemplar is a match or not a match. It also could be inconclusive because uh, they could not come up with enough details to match. They are not sure right. if it does match, so it's an inconclusive. Um, so lack of comparable areas or insufficient number of corresponding features or dissimilar features uh, need to be uh, looked at um, for uh, making a decision if it's identification, exclusion, or inconclusive. Right. And the final step is verification. Uh, this is very, very important in the field of forensic because someone always verifies the work um, that you have done um, in the lab. So this verification is uh, verification is also part of the fingerprint process where another examiner individually, independently uh, anal analyzes, compares, and evaluates the print of uh, to either support or refute the conclusion made by the original examiner. Um, the examiner may also verify the suitability and determine the analysis made in the uh, the analysis made in the, the different steps. Um, they could be either 
uh, agreeing with the analysis done by the previous examiner or completely have a different conclusion in themselves. Um, right. So that's the verification process. So like I said, it's A, C, E, A, C, E, V, analysis, comparison, evaluation, and verification are the three steps. Four steps, sorry. 